This week we're doing two bad movie reviews. What are we calling this? What we we're calling it the, the dumb people versus bad movie reviews. No, smart people. Yeah, the smart people versus dumb movies. Are smart smart people versus dumb movies now. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Perfect. Dumb people versus dumber movies. Or people versus dumb movies. Dumb, movies. dumb people and dumber movies. That's what I just said. Dumb, you said dumb versus people, dumb and dumb movies. Dumb. Yeah. dumb people versus. What about dumb and dumber movies? movies? No, I'm not just dumb people, dumb movies. Dumb people, dumb movies. Yeah, dumb people versus dumb people, dumber movies. Dumb people versus dumb movies. Why not just keep the verses in there? That's our whole thing. Yeah. Dumb people versus dumb movies. Okay. Dumb people versus versus dumb movies. Dumb people 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 we played poker in Weston Law, so he had to watch it in the movie. movie. I suck at the week after that, we played basketball in this little hoop we have in the house, and I lost, so I had to watch the Battlefield Earth. So, uh, without any uh, further ado, Weston, how about you go ahead and review and rate and talk about the emoji? And these will be Dumb, per- Dumb People vs. Movies official rating of the stuff, of emoji movie. Yes. yes. And of all movies. Yeah. Or are you getting on notes? Yeah, it wasn't a note. Yeah, I actually took notes after right here. <laughs> I actually took notes during the movie. Just Jeez! Like, oh my gosh! What the hell? What the hell? It's a the page you have. Alright, yeah. let's try to go fast. I'll go fast, don't worry, I'm just going to get through it. Uh, thoughts about the movie. I told most of you guys, it wasn't as terrible as I thought, but that does not mean this is a good film by all, by any means. Okay? Okay. So, it's pretty much a film about a world of text, pretty much. And I, and this is a quote. They say, emojis is the most important thing in the history of communication. <laughs> Literal quote. <laughs> the protagonist is a uh, gene. He's supposed to be a man emoji, but he's having struggles because he wants to do other... <laughs> I just gave that to you. Yeah, <laughs> You're like a movie, like, but he's like struggling. A, yeah, it's serious drama, like, he's having drama. But in the human world, it's this guy trying to text this girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, in school. Okay. It's a high school or middle school. Uh, I, I don't know how. Wait, is that a live action cut? Or is no, it, it, no, it's all animation. Oh, that makes no I will say this. The good thing about this movie, the animations are actually kind of good. They actually are good. Very good animations. That's actually surprising. And the style is interesting, but the concept of this movie is so... <laughs> Seriously. And it's and this guy's like saying like I'm trying to text this girl. He's like, oh, well, what's what's another girl? No, he's like, words are cool, but emojis aren't. <laughs> 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 no, no, describe the end plot. Yeah. No. Okay, the end plot. So finally, when he finally because well the whole plot is him, he messed up, he didn't make the man face. So he is getting hunted down by the antivirus, <laughs> and the main antagonist is the original emoji, which is the smiley face emoji. She's so freaking obnoxious in this film. I cannot do her job man. because she's always smiling and talking, but I'm so evil. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> but so he's being hunted down, and they get out of the texting emoji world and go through. And they get in the outside world the wallpaper, and there's various apps they can go into. It's a very trade marketed film. They got like Twitter or That's what I thought Candy that. Crush and Just Dance. And it's like, why would a guy have those apps on his film in the first place? And of course, like so many, so many things like people still use Just Dance. Yeah. But and literally, and, 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 so and so you run to, to an old, not now, yeah. like in 2017. Yeah. It's the, this is the one that's not games. Is it really? It's still the one that's happened to every year. What does? Well, Just dance. Okay, yeah. No, Assassin's yeah. Creed sells. <laughs> uh, Assassin's uh, Creed sells millions of copies like each year. Not millions. It does sell millions. I saw it. Uh, probably through bundles. If you want to no. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, buy through 40. There's a lot of those. But okay, tell us about the So he. Well, I'll quickly. No, this is quick. I'll be okay. brief. But he runs into a high five, the unused emoji, or whatever. And so they go and, and he said, okay, we can meet up with a. 
person called Jailbreak who can help us, and they meet up with Jailbreak, and they say, hey, Jailbreak's like, okay, we need to get to the drop box so we can get to the cloud so you can finally <laughs> Wait, hold on. the Met emoji. Wait, is like the drop box like the app? Yeah. Like the, the cloud storage app? Yeah. yeah. What? No, they literally yeah. need to get to the Dropbox. How did they expect kids to understand what Dropbox is? <laughs> they probably do, to be honest. I mean, I don't. this movie is setting the stage for the future of uh, the internet. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so well, they get the movies are cooler than words or something. Yeah. Okay. And so they get to the Dropbox, but they have, to, and they're trying to get to the cloud so he can finally be the man emoji is supposed to be, but they have to get to the firewall first. Which is bad. They get to that, and well, then hey, 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 there's a bit of a love story between Gene and Mad Mochi and Jailbreak, of course. And, and you, know, go, you know, okay, so you know how we, we can go back in like Egyptian tombs and be like, oh, well, what, what were they saying? All these hieroglyphs and signs. 3,000 years from now, someone's going to come across some like old, just like house like this, like 3,000 years from now. They're going to find one of our phones. And they're gonna be like I mean all that information would just be on the internet, so Okay, okay, but but they're gonna or they're gonna see like one of those emoji pillows and like, oh my gosh, what is this? That they can find it on the phone. What? They go like what's this? It's, gonna... no. it's like why are these? No, I'm just saying like <laughs> yellow face. <laughs> like, how we think about hieroglyphs, that's how people are gonna feel about thinking that, about emojis. That so, joke <laughs> let's, let's analyze this joke. That joke feels like um like a like a forty five year old. It was like, doesn't it? No, I think that's and like make it fun, they want to make fun of millennials, so they're like, uh, millennials are so dumb now, they're using emojis and they're texting. Like, that's not that, 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 that is a Facebook meme. <laughs> yeah, like, for like 3,000 years ago, how are the things? And they show words, and they show oh, emojis. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a joke, I would just say that. Okay, yeah, that's, that's all I'm trying to make a joke. No, my thing is, like, what if they come back, like, and they find the emoji movie? Like, this is their culture. I'm not even allowed to play the god that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm afraid this is going to be our culture. What's like they get there? How did the movie right, yeah, yeah, So, the, you know, they they get to the end, they actually get to the cloud, and then um, <laughs> yeah. they, they go through a piece of that I was just mentioning, and of course they play the Watch Me Whip song and Bubble Butt. <laughs> Wait, can you sing part of the Bubble Butt song? Think about how expensive no. it was to buy it. I know! Why those? Wait, what, what is the bubble? Still, like, what is that? It's, I don't know. It's like bubble. Butt. <laughs> <laughs> Sound bite. No, no, do it again. We laughed too soon. We're adding it. No, no, no. You're already heard. You're already heard. Okay. Just, just why? But um, it's really hot. Um, yeah. and literally, like, he actually turns mad because he was heartbroken because Jailbreak doesn't want to go through like I guess a relationship thing with him, so he actually becomes mad. Uh, and runs, <laughs> and, but and he gets captured, and literally the jailbreak, who actually turns out, yeah, that's it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough money. Yeah, we'll lose that. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so, what? so the jailbreak is actually a princess emoji. Uh, big surprise, and she literally whistles for a Twitter bird to, to help rescue him. Okay, that's kind of weird. Actually, but, uh, <laughs> no, it's more strange. Which is bad. Like, okay, like, they probably made their money back for this movie in product placement, so they just didn't care. No, but Sony's Sony's not, like I said, it's not as cool. Like, it's interesting. But just the idea behind it is just so, like, so. Why? So, what's your rate? What's your rate, yeah. Okay, I'll what's get to the final ending. But, but okay. the final ending, he, they, he actually goes to the Dropbox, because the kid's going to delete his phone because he thinks a virus is happening. Uh, yeah. And so he makes multiple, like, um, animated emojis, like, and thus, the guy's like, oh, that's so cool. And thus, he sends it to the girl he likes. And of course, the girl at the end goes up to him and say, he's like, wow, I didn't think you expressed so much emotions like that. <laughs> through emojis? So they fall in love through emojis. Or he was able to get a girlfriend and party out uh, later. And thus, or, and thus, they succeed. They did it. They're about to all get, the phone was about to get deleted, but the kid brought it back and all that. Happy ending, and then there's a big dance at the end or whatever. That's pretty good, actually. No. So, so in conclusion, not terrible, not bad, but not good. What's your rating? One word, it's just, meh. Wow. Wow. So, so I'm not out of that? No. Nah. I get it. <laughs> no. What's like, your, what's your rating? I must say, this movie is very cliche. It's like every other film. Oh, something matter. I'm giving it 
I was thinking 2.5 stars, but I'm giving it to you now. <laughs> because I think just looking through all this, I realized now oh, it's just, it's pointless film. Don't any, any other quotables? Um, if I can find one. Quotables other the con? <laughs> dumb people versus uh, dumber movies. Official rate. You know, you know the same pineapple after pen video. Yes. On YouTube, that was played in the movie oh, okay. when they went to the YouTube app. All right, well, it's your turn. Battlefield. All right, boy. Good job, Austin. Yep. Battle, battle. Uh... <laughs> I'll clean up another picture. Battlefield Earth. Weston was the one to pick this, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was my idea. You yeah. said that... <laughs> There's a... You said you watched this and, and actually enjoyed this movie as a child. I liked it as a kid. Like, there's definitely a nostalgic factor for it, but that doesn't mean... So tell us what's about I don't even know what's about So, yeah, just describe it. I'll tell you... There's this guy... It's basically so the plot. It's the year three thousand. Human humans they've gone through some warfare. I, I presume. I think after World War Three. It's World after World War Three. Or something like that. It's supposed to be. I think you're doing Akira. World War Three. I think that's. What you're doing. Well, yeah. Well, it's kind of the same thing though. But like, it's um. It's supposed to be after nuclear warfare. It's yeah. the War Three Thousand. The war. The uh. The year three thousand. And there is more but humankind. Is basically reduced back to when they were cavemen. That's how they're living. Yet they still speak perfect English. Um, there's these guys called Greeners, which I absolutely hate that name. And they're like, it's supposed to mean that the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, it's a really, it's a really neat concept actually. The, this, the, this Greener goes and he meets these other guys, and the, the people that are reduced to humankind talks about all these gods. Well. Really, these gods are just an alien race that looks exactly like humans and just has like a little thing right here on their head. It's not even connected to their body, it's just like connected by wire to their helmets. But it's, uh, they're really the gods because they have advanced technology and they know guns and stuff. Well, somehow, this greener finds out how to shoot a gun and then like he gets encamped and then he, they put him on a knowledge machine because they, a knowledge machine. That's what it's called? Yeah, yeah. The Knowledge yeah. Machines. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, he starts to learn all this stuff. And it, but it, it's just so cheesy. Like, like it's, it's like a red stream of CGI stuff. And he's like, like, the whole yeah. time. But he's actually <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the guy comes to him. Then the guy leaves, just leaves him there. Just walks out. Yeah, but it, the, the room he's in is connected to other prisoners' rooms without a gate or anything. So the other prisoners are like, dude, we, we gotta get you out of here. And, he, and they like pull him off and he's like, where am I? And, he, and then he's like, we, you need to stop, you're gonna die. He's like, I must know more if we're gonna get out of here. And he goes, <laughs> and, he <gets> on it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, with like being on there for like 20 minutes, he knows their language, he knows like everything they know. And so, <laughs> one of the worst parts of the day, this guy figures out that they can use these, these, this, the humankind to mine gold for them out of the earth. So they go there. <laughs> Somehow this guy figures out how to fly a spaceship. <laughs> and so the, the guy is like, I expect you to have this crate, this is a crate, this crate halfway full by gold by this point in time. And he's like, okay. He's like, so obviously, but he's obviously acting like he doesn't know stuff. Yeah. Fly the sh spaceship to Fort Knox. Gets <laughs> gold from Fort Knox. Brings it back in <laughs> bars. In bars. And puts it down. And then it's halfway full of in the guy. And then, and then, and then the, the commander of the television is like, why are these in bars? And he was like, well, I, I assumed you wouldn't take raw ore. <laughs> and, and he goes, <laughs> like, 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 in bars. And then the end, they, they, they say, this guy saves the entire human race okay. from extinction by figuring out and destroying their, the other, the alien yeah, invasion yeah. people's entire home planet. He just destroys it. <laughs> just destroys it. It just blows it up within a 
atomic bomb and apparently that bomb like reacted their atmosphere and just oh, okay. the whole thing. <laughs> and that sounds like such a cop out, like, oh the atomic bomb uh, bomb works with the atmosphere and just blows up the whole thing exactly. and then the whole city. And in the end, he gets the girl. Oh, there's a girl? Yeah, there's a girl. <laughs> there's a oh, there's a girl, of course there's a girl. And But she's like really new. Yeah, she's so I gotta be honest. Uh, like eighty percent of what you said I have no idea like what was happening. Yeah. That probably kind of sounds like what the movie called. Exactly.